to Indigo Smokes Tarot. Um, my name is Alexis. For the purposes of this, of this channel, I go by Indigo. Um, I am doing a tarot reading for Aries for August 2019. I don't know why I say 2019, like you guys don't know that, but whatever. Um, so I've already shuffled everything off camera, but I'm gonna do a few shuffles on camera, just because, why not? <clears throat> I don't do I don't use a particular spread in every video I like to just let the cards fall out um, sometimes that does make the video last a little bit longer than I anticipate but I like to just let the um, cards say what they need to say at their own pace <clears throat> what's up Aries hope you're in good spirits are needed for the Aries Collective for August 2019. Okay, first card that came out, the Page of Swords. Okay, so, I mean, if you watch tarot readings, you know the Page of Swords is the spy card, okay? This means that someone is most likely keeping a close eye on you, or you're doing this, you know, for someone else. Um, the Page of Swords is all about research, um, getting your facts straight, speaking your truth, um, but also looking for the truth, searching for the truth, looking for more information. Um, this is typically called the spy or stalker card just because this is typically someone who is keeping their distance, but they're looking um, at you or someone from afar, keeping an eye on things, maybe looking at the social media, maybe asking people about you, um, maybe, you know, the old fashioned stalker type where there's someone's actually in their car, you know driving past your job house shit like that not to be creepy but this is definitely someone um using whatever means that they can whether it's social media driving asking around this is someone keeping a, a close eye on you from a distance okay so it's interesting that that's the first card out um divine higher powers guardian angels and archangels of the collective any more messages in relation to this page of swords August 2019. I don't know why I said that. Any other I'm not going to count that just because I don't know how it fell out. Right, any more messages? For Aries for August 2019, in regards to this page of swords, what is the story here for Aries, August 2019? What messages need to come out for Aries, August 2019? reverse the wheel of fortune it's interesting um hmm. this typically um this typically means i, I prefer it in the upright i'm gonna be honest because it means like good fortune things going uh going in your favor it's a good fortune it's lady luck being on your side it also indicates forward movement um new cycles coming in with it in the reverse, this could mean that uh, maybe some progress is slowing down, um, or maybe a situation that you're in is not bringing you like good energy. Um, and it could also be like a lack of forward movement, or maybe there's an old cycle that needs to be dealt with, because the Wheel of Fortune can also deal with cycles. Um, maybe a situation that you're in, or maybe that this Page of Swords is in, maybe things are not as beneficial as they could be, but we'll see as everything continues to fall out. Um, divine higher powers, guardian angels and archangels of the collective. Okay, can I get another card along with this page of swords or this reverse roll of fortune? What's the story here for Aries for August 2019? Thank you. That is too many cards. So this could be, um, this could go a few different ways. This is the card of reunion, celebration, socializing, partying, um, rekindling things. So sometimes, depending on the context, this could be a reconciliation. This could be, like I said, socializing. Um, 
I don't want to say third party situation until the rest of the cards come out. This is overall it's supposed to be a really good card. Like I said, it's about reunion, celebration, um, socializing with friends, having fun, things of that nature. Okay, any more cards needing to come out for Aries, August 2019, in regards to this page of swords, reverse wheel of fortune. What other cards need to come out for Aries for August 2019 to complete this story? Alright, so like I said, this could definitely be a reunion of sorts. The other card that came out is the Six of Cups. Hope you can see it. The sun is setting, the lights are on, so it's kind of causing the light to be a little dimmer but um yeah the six of cups is about um childhood memories nostalgia missing someone someone missing you this is someone from your past or a situation from your past trying to come back or maybe you're feeling very nostalgic about something that happened in your recent or distant past um or someone is feeling like this about you um this is a soulmate card so it typically has to do with like soul connections it could be past life, so if it's not, um, if this isn't the energy of someone you kn you've known in this lifetime, this is the energy of a soulmate from maybe a previous lifetime that you haven't met yet in this lifetime, okay? We'll see as things continue to unfold. All right, can we please get a, I'm going to do seven cards. We're at four right now. I'm going to get three more. I like seven. It's my favorite number. Also, with this reverse wheel of fortune here, uh, being right next to this three of cups, I also get the vibe that maybe in regards to a friendship, a relationship, um, or maybe just a group setting or a social setting, there could just be some kind of blockages, maybe a lack of um, forward movement or a lack of um, high vibrating or positive energy being in this setting. We'll see. All right, can we get three more cards for Aries? For August 2019 in regards to this page of swords, this reverse wheel of fortune, and this three of cups and six of cups. What other cards need to come out for Aries for August 2019 to complete this story? Hmm. Okay, so I think this is the second time this one's come out. This is the reversed nine of wands, okay? So this is what it's like in the upright. Came out in the reverse. I'm gonna take it. Uh, the reversed nine of wands is about being exhausted, being tired, and giving up on something, okay? It's having gone through the ringer, having been through a lot of shit, a lot of stress, a lot of conflict. You've taken a lot of, um, you have a lot of battle wounds. And now you're just calling it quits. This is the energy of just like saying, fuck it, I give up, fine, throw it in the towel. This is being tired, exhausted, and just over whatever it is that has gotten you to this point. All right? <clears throat> Any other cards coming out for Aries? For August 2019. Can I get two more cards for Aries for August 2019? In regards to this page of swords, this reversal of fortune, three of cups, six of this reverse nine of wands. Ooh, we got exactly two. Okay, exactly. All right, so we have the knight of. Oh, sorry. We have the knight of cups. Um, so about three cups here so far. That's a significant amount. The knight of cups is about um, someone wanting to come in, wanting to offer something, some kind of offer, some kind of proposal, some kind of. It typically has to do with love. All right. So the knights, they come in, they they deliver things, they take action, they're action oriented. They can be inconsistent. They're very in and out with their energy. Like I said, they're a knight. They're not a king, so they don't really stay put. But with the Knight of Cups, this is usually someone wanting to come in and offer some kind of emotional expression, love, uh, proposal, offer, things of that nature. The other card that came out is the Tower. Okay, so we have two major arcana. That's pretty significant. The Tower are things that you don't expect to happen. Um... At the worst, the tower is exactly what you would expect. It's something that is earth shattered. It, it shatters your world. It shatters your perspective. 
it eliminates old paradigms so that new ones can come in um it's whatever it is that you thought was solid in your life the tower brings it down so that's at its most extreme um and it's more gentle aspect it could just be a, an internal shift you know an internal paradigm shift where you know maybe you get an epiphany or you get um a light bulb moment you know some kind of illumination it's it's like once you get a certain idea you can't go back to not having that idea or not having that perspective okay so this is just coming into you know something new all right so something old is leaving something unexpected is happening okay something that you typically don't see coming all right all right, so we have our seven cards out at the bottom of the deck here we have one of my favorite cards we have the high priestess okay so um the high priestess has to do with intuition she also has to do with secrets as she is the keeper of knowledge she knows all sees all but she doesn't necessarily say anything she's not very action oriented but she's very powerful in the sense that she's very intuitive she knows everything right she just doesn't say it so this is a good overall energy to have at the bottom of the deck we'll see what that means later on when we get to clarifications all right okay so so far um let me make sure i've said everything here all right so there's a situation that you or someone else has given up on and there could be an unexpected offer or message coming your way some kind of possible uh, reunion or reconciliation with someone from your past whether that's in your past in this lifetime it could be recent or distant past and it could also be a past life meaning you haven't met them yet in this lifetime but you're about to um, from the looks of it it looks like this is something that has happened from this lifetime with this page of swords here with this reverse nine of wands um, yeah and with this reverse wheel of fortune this looks like a, an old cycle coming back around uh, maybe something that wasn't necessarily good for you in the past which is why you gave up on it all right so let's see can we please clarify this page of swords for aries for august 2019 can you please clarify can you please clarify this page of swords <laughs> this is funny okay so we have two pages already so we got the page of cups to clarify this page of swords here okay so this is once again some kind of message some kind of offer um, someone offering most likely an apology okay like I said with this reverse wheel of fortune here something this is an old cycle this is something that didn't really go well didn't go as expected this is something that someone gave up on all right and maybe this night right here is coming in maybe this is the person that's keeping an eye on you and they're coming in with an apology okay with some kind of emotional expression um, vulnerability some kind of offer like I said, with this Three of Cups and this Six of Cups, it could definitely be a reconciliation of sorts, all right? So, someone from your past is trying, is keeping an eye on you, and they're, they're, trying, they're trying to come forward, all right? It could be small, the way that they come forward, because this is a knight and it's a page, okay? So, they don't have the maturity or the demeanor of a king, but they try, all right? They're, they're developing, so, you know, we'll see, all right? But definitely two pages in a night. This is someone who is there. They're trying to make their way to you. Okay. <clears throat> Can we please clarify this reverse the will of fortune for Aries for August 2019? What does this will of fortune in the reverse pertain to for Aries August 2019? too many cards <laughs> um wow wow okay i think i'm gonna take this just because we already have a repeat here so this is another three all right so in this past situation this definitely could have been a third party situation 
I hate saying that uh, it's so over overstated in so many tarot readings but when you get more than two threes or two or more threes then it typically means that there's some kind of external energy affecting a situation or a relationship it could be a person uh, that affected this it could be you know um, a work situation a family situation just other energies besides the two people in the dynamic are influencing the situation or the relationship okay so we got three cards that flipped out this is the second three this is the three of pentacles someone wanting to work on something this is also um tying to the three of cups as far as a third party situation uh we got the five of swords here and we have the page of swords so again somebody is really like hardcore keeping an eye on you because we have two pages of swords here <laughs> so yeah that's a that's a strong eye somebody is definitely keeping an eye um with this five of swords here this is arguments this is conflict this can be a very low vibrational energy just in the sense of it's very selfish and it's very ego based okay so um this could go a, a few different ways all right so in regards to a past situation there could have been like i said a third party there could have been a lot of selfish behavior people acting out of um, their ego being very self-serving in their actions with the five of swords this is also someone being defeated but it's it's an empty victory because no one in this situation wins even if they feel like they did in the moment no one in this situation wins because people typically end up more hurt than anything you end up taking more losses than wins um this can also be a card of manipulation okay because like i said this is very ego-based it's very self-centered and selfish all right it's all about me 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 with this card so in the past it definitely could have been some kind of conflict arguments um very harsh communication some people could have been mean um and there could have been some mind games some manipulation involved okay i do not like to say that but the five of swords can be really nasty um and with the pages here it could have been very petty it could have been a very very petty situation because the pages are technically they're their children they they haven't fully developed into their maturity you know they're still learning so this could have definitely been a situation involved with a person or people who were very immature all right or like i said this it just involves children but it doesn't look like it involves children at least not as the main focus but anyways um and as far as how i could interpret this for right now this is also, I feel like I said this, but I'm gonna say it again just to be sure. This page of swords, um, being next to this five of swords, it, it kind of taints it in a way, just in the sense of it amplifies the pettiness or the immaturity of the page of swords. Um, there could have been some lies or gossip also involved with this page here because the <laughs> the page of swords is very restless it can be kind of antagonistic especially with this this card here okay so i didn't want that many cards to come out for the reverse wheel of fortune but it did and so here we are all right can we um get one more card to clarify this reverse wheel of fortune for aries for august 2019 The devil card came out so you definitely could have been dealing with a toxic situation okay um, a situation maybe you felt stuck in bound to or maybe it was just um, like a strong attachment you know something that you could you just feel unable to break away from um, the devil it also amplifies that pettiness that ego energy that attachment energy that cutthroat me 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 energy the devil can definitely amplify that okay so you could definitely have given up on a toxic situation, a group situation, or relationship, friendship, whatever, where there was a lot of uh, conflict, um, self-serving people, um, attitudes involved, people being very um, dishonest, self-serving, 
and just overall toxic maybe um just someone trying to be very controlling over a situation or trying to be controlling over a dynamic okay um but i'm trying to get just one card can i please get one card first all right give me two The reverse temperance card came out and the six of swords okay so the reverse temperance is a card of ex excess you know this is someone who is overindulgent someone who is not balanced or a situation that's overindulgent or not balanced okay and this could be what you moved on from or um <laughs> yeah and that's it's actually pretty funny because at the bottom of the deck we have the will of the fortune in the upright which is good it's like you moved on and so the will can you know now turn in your favor but it's like you walked away from an imbalanced or you moved on and transitioned from an imbalanced situation or person where there just wasn't um, a lot of harmony or something that you lost patience for something that you no longer wanted to heal you no longer wanted to wait on um yeah it wasn't serving you so you moved on right and because of that with the will of fortune in the upright because you moved on because you left an imbalanced situation a situation that wasn't serving your highest good the will can now turn upright for you and work in your favor as opposed to being against you like this one okay all right I'm just trying to get all of these cards out of the way. There we go. All right, can we please clarify this Three of Cups for Aries for August 2019? Can I please clarify this Three of Cups for Aries? Can I please clarify this Three of Cups for Aries? the six of pentacles to clarify the three of cups here the six of pentacles is about giving and receiving equal give and take um so definitely someone could be wanting to um, offer you some kind of reconciliation it could be someone could be wanting some equal give and take with you we also have two sixes here sixes have to deal with they deal with the past Six is deal with domestic issues, relationships, finding balance, equilibrium, harmony. Um, yeah, sixes definitely have to do with domestic issues, relationships, and just overall just trying to find that balance, that harmony, that love, that reciprocity, equality. It's a very balanced number. Um, as far as an angel number goes, you have two sixes here, so six, six. That's a number you can definitely look into. Let me see, we have another one, two threes, 33. All right, can you please clarify the six of pentacles and this three of cups for Aries for August 2019? Yeah, but you definitely could have been dealing with a flighty energy. I'm not going to take these three cards, but I do pay attention. Even though I'll put the cards back and still shuffle just for one card, I'll still take in the um, the message or the energy of the cards that do flip out, especially if I see uh, a, a correlation to what's already being said. So you have another knight here. Um, the Knight of Wands is the player card. It's someone who's very passionate. It's a love them and leave them energy. Um, very inconsistent in and out there for a good time not really good for much else um this with the knight of cups it, it's a similar energy just the fact that they're a knight and they come in and out uh we have the also the two of cups and the seven of pentacles so this is something that you could have invested a lot of time in something that you were waiting on you were waiting for your um waiting for your return on your investment of your time of your energy of your love this is definitely a strong connection here because this is another soulmate card, the Two of Cups along with the Six of Cups. They both have to do with soulmate energy, strong emotional ties, soul ties and connections. So this was definitely a strong connection that you maybe gave up on, you stopped waiting on, you stopped investing it stopped investing in. Um, or you just this is something that you put a lot of time into, okay? 
but this can also be this night energy waiting to come back to restore the relationship as well all right but like i said i'm trying to get one card because i'm trying to narrow down the meaning of what this uh, three of cups and six of pentacles means okay but definitely take note that two nights and what three pages are here and two of them are the same page okay <laughs> Can we please clarify this Three of Cups and the Six of Pentacles for Aries for August 2019? Alright, I'm done trying to get one card. They won't listen to me. Okay, another three. All right, so angel number three, three, three. Look that up. It may have some significance to you, okay? We have the um, queen of cups here with the king of pentacles and the three of swords, all right? So definitely there was some disappointment in the situation. There was some heartbreak in the situation, okay? Uh, the queen of cups is very loving. She's very nurturing, open. She's emotional. She's intuitive. Uh, but she is... she she's an outpour she's an overflow of love okay and clarifying the six of pentacles someone could be seeing you this way they could be seeing you as the queen of cups maybe you were very loving and nurturing to them um and this could also be this energy trying to there's a lot of people here for one not to cut myself off and deter from the message there's there's a lot of people here um <laughs> So this could definitely be someone that you had a lot of uh, love for, okay? This could be someone who broke your heart, all right? And you could also, you could also have an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or just someone who's responsible, someone who's stable, who's consistent, coming into your energy in the near future, wanting to offer you something as well. This could, like I said, if this isn't um, a new person, uh, an old person from this past life, it could be maybe someone you met recently, someone you will meet, or someone from a past life you know, coming forward and they're wanting to have equal give and take with you. Um, I'm going to be honest, this three of swords with this king of pentacles is really throwing me off. So if it's not, you know, a new person coming towards you who is an earth sign, or if it's not you establishing something new elsewhere, this could be um, this night energy. Maybe they're trying to, they're wanting to offer something stable, or maybe they appeared to be very stable and grounded but this three of swords is here for a reason so maybe even though they tried to portray themselves that way they weren't able to fully fully give that okay they weren't able to fully um embody that energy okay one more time can you please clarify this three of cups and the six of pentacles for aries august 2019 Here we go. Damn it. Knight of Wands again. Alright. So yeah, this is a flighty person. Someone who has been in and out, most likely. Someone who's very inconsistent. They're trying to make their way back. They're wanting equal give and take with you. Although, I don't know how equal that can be. Because um, the Knights don't stay put. It's not in their nature. They haven't matured beyond that point yet. But you definitely have uh, someone from your past trying to really rush in they're keeping an eye on you from a distance and they're trying to rush in and offer you some kind of offer of reconciliation they're wanting to apologize wanting to make amends and they're wanting equal give and take with you okay now i'm going to go over to the six of cups can we please clarify the six of cups for aries for august 2019 so someone from your someone from your past they are feeling like they missed out on an opportunity with the four of cups here they are very they are very much not happy with whatever the current situation is between you guys um and if if you can like look closely i'm gonna try um as you can see 
she's trying to offer something and he's like in his own drunken stupor okay he's not paying her any mind um yeah he's caught up in his own little funk in his own world being very bored and discontent and apathetic and probably being like very much woe is me all right and then we have the ace of pentacles here this is a new start something solid something um stable it's an it's a new opportunity it's an offer of commitment it's a solid and stable offer or start or at least that's what someone is trying to offer you at this time but someone here definitely wants a new beginning we have the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck so this could have been like i said this is it is a lot of threes here this could be someone who was deceptive in the past okay i don't we'll see if that's still their energy but yeah in the past someone was definitely not nice because for the five of swords and the seven of swords and the upright to pop out that's like that's bad vibes like all around but anyways i need to ask it hey can we please clarify this reverse nine of wands for aries for august 2019 swords in reverse all right so this is definitely something that you gave up on you freed yourself from whatever the situation was with this person uh you just you got tired of it you were tired of the bs you were tired of the um you were tired of the constant blows you were taking you were tired of all of the the pain the drama just being very worn out all right and you you freed yourself when you gave up on it thank you yeah, you ended the shit. You ended it. For sure. Alright. I didn't ask it. You, okay, so this wanted to come out. Um, I don't know if it was in the upright or the reverse, but it wanted to come out. So this is definitely something that you could have felt was an injustice, okay? Okay, can we please clarify this Knight of Cups for Aries, August 2019. another knight of cups all of these fucking knights all right look <laughs> i can't tell you guys what to do right, look there's a lot of repeats okay so we have two pages of two pages of swords someone's looking hella hard but they're keeping their distance all right they're they're not really dealing with the situation in a mature way um but yeah they're keeping an eye they want to come through they want to come through with some kind of love all right love and passion all right but i don't know how much stability they can offer but like i said they're a knight they're not meant to stay in place they haven't gotten there yet they haven't matured but the fact that this knight of cups is clarifying this knight of cups is is hilarious to me um so yeah strong love offer okay someone really really feels like they fucked up all right and maybe they got that re realization when you when you gave up and you freed yourself from it all right um they could come through really fast hence the tower card it can be very unexpected the way that they come through for you but yeah i'm just i'm a little iffy about it to be honest because the pages and knights are just that they're they're not reliable <laughs> can you please clarify this both of these knights of cups for aries actually i'm not even going to it's redundant at this point reverse seven of swords yeah so that's the second third time it came out and it's not this isn't even the right deck for me to be shuffling for this this was supposed to keep the um, i was supposed to keep the high priestess at the bottom of the deck to clarify it but i don't know what made me pick it up but yeah the reverse seven of swords somebody definitely did some 
some sneaky shit in the past and it looks like they're trying to return and make amends for it this seems to be the theme because i just did uh i just did a reading for pisces and they had something similar all right all right can we please get one more card for these two knights of cups what are they offering what are these knights of cups offering what is this knight energy offering the knight of cups offering passion <laughs> what is the knight of cups offering Queen of Wands came out trying to offer passion. You know, the Queen of Wands, she's very sexy. She's very attractive. Um, she can inhabit a very sexual energy like all of the Wands can. But as far as this is one of the first, this is the first card that came out in clarifying the Knight of Cups. So I feel like this is two different themes. If this was a third party situation in the past, this can be the Mistress card. Okay. But um, since I said, what, what is the, um, what are they offering? I just take this as they're offering passion, all right? That's what the knights are offering to you. So whoever's coming back, they'll probably offer you the same stuff they did before. If they offer, you know, a little bit of love and a lot of passion, it looks like they're still trying to do that, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> the pages here, I just, I don't think they can really offer much, all right? But um, she came out for a reason this is a third party this is probably this external energy there this is the mistress. this can be the other woman card or the mistress card this also came out in the pisces reading if i'm not mistaken um and i believe me i've reshuffled these decks i've cleansed them and everything so the fact that these are all coming out and the similarities are there it must just be a collective energy so that's this the passion that that's what the the knights are offering you okay a lot of it Anyways, um, but at the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress card. You know, it seems like they see a lot of abundance with you, or they they, and they could also see you as someone who's very, very loving, very abundant, beautiful, handsome, male or female. To have the Empress energy means that you are in your power and you're looking damn good while you're standing in your power. Okay, and that's why this person is trying to come towards you with love and passion. All right, but they're still a fucking knight. All right, the only thing mature about them was the passion card that came out so whatever anyways but you could also be dealing with the fire sign um aries leo sagittarius and that could also be your energy okay aries so that could just be you standing in your power um and being more mature than the knights that are offering shit to you all right okay can we please clarify this tower mm. Can we please clarify this tower for Aries, August 2019? Can we please clarify this tower for Aries, August 2019? Can we please clarify this tower for Aries, August 2019? One card. Can we please clarify this tower? There we go. All right, you came out again, Aries. Okay. Bet. Uh first card came out was the lovers all right so that is three major arcana yeah three major arcana um it's pretty significant when a major arcana clarifies another major arcana which is what happened here so this is definitely it talks about strong partnerships or something that you feel someone or something that you feel a strong pull and a tie to and it, this also represents crossroads, being at a major crossroads, having a decision to make, a head over heart decision in a lot of cases. Um, yeah, so if this person from the past who was in and out, flighty, um, being very self-serving in their actions, possibly even manipulative, well, very manipulative in their actions, it's like they're coming back, they're trying to make amends, and maybe they'll come on so strong with so much passion and love that you, it, 
it'll leave you stuck on what to do and you'll have a very major decision to make when this lover's card comes out as a decision this is some it's a major one in the sense of it really affects the path that your life or the path that this relationship is going to take like it really affects you so you have to be very careful and, and thoughtful and thorough <laughs> when you make this decision okay um, this whatever this is is going to come to you as a surprise all right you're not going to expect it because the tower is it's always something that you don't expect something that you don't see coming but i feel like you'll definitely feel i feel like you'll feel the major weight of the decision that you'll need to make okay like it'll it'll it's gonna it's gonna have you feel some type of way i feel like right um and then the other card that came out again was the queen of wands so once again aries this is your energy okay um Aries Leo Sagittarius. <laughs> Once again, I'm going to read this two different ways. So I do, because it came out twice, I do think that this is your energy, Aries. This is you being in your power and your confidence, going after what you want. Um, once you've given up on a situation and freed yourself from it, you're able to just be a go getter, fully embody your energy, standing in your confidence, standing in your power, and looking damn good while you do it. Uh, I also feel like this is clarifying the tower and the lovers. I feel like someone's coming in with a lot of passion. All right. So yes, this is your energy. Yes, you're in your power. Yes, you're looking good. Um, but I also feel like this is someone coming at you very passionately and very unexpectedly. Did I say that right? Unexpectedly. Yeah. <laughs> Being very unexpected and passionate in the way that they come towards you. All right. Um, and once again, once again, the Empress is at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, you look damn good. All right. Unless somebody's mama or baby mama is involved. All right. Very abundant, very uh, prosperous things on the horizon for you. Whew. I didn't even ask a question, but <laughs> the two cards that came out once again were the devil. The Ten of Swords wanted to pop out earlier, but it did not. And once again, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. I know this came out already, so I'm going to leave it out. And this is definitely something, to something toxic, all right? I don't like to always pinpoint the Devil card as toxic because, you know, this is the card for Capricorn and it doesn't always mean something bad, but with all the cards that are here and given that you gave up on this situation and someone's trying to apologize, it really does lead me to believe that this could have been um, a toxic connection. It could have been a very passionate connection. It could have um, been a connection where there was a lot of manipulation because the uh, devil card is about control, feeling like you're under the control of someone or something, feeling like something has more power over you than it should, feeling like you can't escape from it, uh, feeling bound to it. But whatever this situation was, it ended in disappointment and heartbreak and someone Either this situation ended very, very harshly and very abruptly um, and or betrayal, all right? So someone here possibly felt stabbed in the back, all right? Maybe someone felt stabbed in the back when you gave up or maybe you gave up because you felt stabbed in the back. But either way, something ended painfully and I am so sorry, all right? I'm so sorry if, you, if, you, if this is resonating with you and this happened but um yeah whoever did this to you they're they're sorry and they're trying to come back and i feel like you're going to be at a crossroads because you're going to have a decision to make because i feel like they're going to come in very fast very unexpected and full of love and full of passion all right because they feel it you look and you look good to them you look good to them all right um but I, I don't see you being receptive to it. You might be, you might be. This is not going to resonate for everybody. But um, yeah, this is a very painful ending, all right? This screams third party. This screams backstabbing, all right? This screams toxicity, all right? Somebody was not fucking loyal at all, all right? And the situation that you were in, 
it probably had a lot of passion it probably had a lot of lust a lot of emotions um, but it also had a lot of head games a lot of toxicity a lot of Whatever it was, it was very burdensome, okay? And you felt over, over, you felt at the mercy of this situation, all right? And that was very painful. And that, I don't really think, I don't really see the pages. The pages can't make up for this kind of pain, all right? The pages and the nights, they can't make up. They can't really heal this kind of pain. All right, a king can, but not with all these pages, with all these knights. They can't make up for this ten of swords and this three of swords. They can't. They they don't they don't have the capacity yet. All right, so I'm gonna stop preaching. I'm gonna get to the oracle cards. Uh, I'm just gonna clarify this high priestess card that came out at the bottom of the deck, and we will be done. Can we please clarify this high priestess for Aries for August 2019? I typically see the high priestess as follow your intuition. All right, we know what to do. That's too many cards, spirit. Can you please clarify this high priestess for Aries, August 2019? Another page. I'm telling you, pages and nights, they can't make up for this, all right? You may sense this coming. You may sense someone, you know, trying to offer you something, trying to offer you passion, offer you an apology, offer you a new beginning, but you're, you're a queen. You're a queen, okay? Technically, in the arcana, in tarot, technically, this page is the child, all right? This is her kid. She gave birth to this. She, she is older and more mature and more experienced than this right here. There is nothing, unless this is your child, there is nothing that this can do for a queen. There just isn't. All right, I'm going to get one more card. Can you please clarify this high priestess for Aries? Yeah. All right, King of Pentacles came out again. So like I said, you could, you could have um, someone more consistent, someone more grounded, someone financially secure, mature, stable. You know, that could... That could be who's offering you this new start here okay so maybe that's something you can be open to but this flighty energy this flighty person from your past unless they've somehow developed into this king of pentacles which it doesn't look like they have um yeah i i see you having something better with this taurus virgo capricorn energy this earth energy that is mature solid stable ready for commitment ready for um stability and love all right so if this offer is coming from this energy of course you already know what to do um but make sure that if you're accepting this person from the past make sure that they've actually matured okay but from what i see i don't see that but you know what's best for you okay all right high priestess listen to your intuition that is that's all i can say that's all i can say because you know your life better than i do but it is no coincidence that all of these nights and pages are here and i feel like i've been so redundant but it's just it's very you know as a reader it's 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 red flags but like i said you know your situation better than i do anyways all right can we get some closing messages for Aries for August 2019. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it looks like for sure that the King of Pentacles, that energy is coming towards you, towards Virgo Capricorn, or just someone who's mature and they're solid and they're ready for commitment and uh, they're financially secure. They're not flighty. You know, they can provide you that stability that you're looking for if that is in fact what you're looking for, okay? And for some of you, this knight has matured into a King of Pentacles. Um, like I said, you know this person better than I do, so you will be able to tell if they've actually matured or if they're still on that night, flighty, immature energy, okay? Alrighty, any last messages for Aries for August 2019 in regards to this energy or situation that you're dealing with?
Indigo, ah, blah, 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 sorry. It says indigo. The person you're inquiring about is an is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader. That's so funny. I'm indigo, haha. <laughs> but anyways, as a message, that is just. It means that you have a very special energy about you, Aries, and you have the sensitivity to be able to see through bullshit. All right, you have a very. Um, there's something different about you. Okay, and if there is a person or a situation that is undermining to how sensitive and gifted that you are, cut it, all right? But also focus on the things that, focus on the things that enrich you, all right? You're a special energy, born at a special time, and you need to treat yourself as such and act accordingly, all right? Because this energy is meant to affect change. It's meant to be a leader. It's meant to um, have a high sense of integrity and have a positive energy about it, okay? So if the, there's a person or a situation that's undermining that, don't do that. This is about standing in your power, being strong-willed, and um, being a spirited individual who has strong personal beliefs about changing and improving the world. It says indigos may have tempers which fuel them to move forward with their activist campaigns. It says you may have received this card because you're divinely called to help the indigos keep their spiritual gifts and missions alive. It says um, this is about being a very fast thinker and having intuitive sensitivities. And this is about needing to maintain high self-esteem and a sense of purposeful direction so that you can use your natural talents to help everyone. All right. And if this isn't your energy, this could be an energy of, a, um, like I said, if you have children, your child could be an indigo child. So congratulations. They're amazing. All right. Um, let me get one more. Let me get another card for Aries, August 2019. All right. We got Hill Away Addictions, all right? It says, it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing, all right? So if there was something toxic here, if there was something undermining to your true nature here, it's time to heal it and let it go. Also, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Emotional Sensitivity card. It says, honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all, okay? So once again, it goes right into the High Priestess energy. You have the power, you have the insight, you're sensitive for a reason, and you're meant to stand in that as a power, not as something that is, um, not as something that makes you weak, because your sensitivity doesn't make you weak. It helps you make the decisions that you need to make. If something doesn't feel right, let it go, all right? If something's holding you back, heal it and release it. And if you need to call on your ancestors or your spirit guides or an angel, Archangel, um, Archangel Michael or Archangel Raphael, they will help you, all right? At the bottom of the deck. Also, right under the emotional sensitivity card is Archangel Raphael, all right? So that's a very strong energy that you can call on at this time. But with that indigo card and the emotional sensitivity card and the Hillary addictions, that is about standing in your power and allowing your sensitivity to enrich you, strengthen you, and to lead you and help you to make the right decisions for yourself. All right, and from the Archangel Michael deck, any last messages for... Aries for August 2019. Any last messages for Aries, August 2019. Alright, we got one card. Any last messages for Aries, August 2019? All right, it says, forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. If you were betrayed, hurt, backstabbed, lied to, manipulated, all of those things in the past, forgive yourself. All right, technically, no one really deserves to, you know, be backstabbed. No one deserves to have their heart broken, all right? Um, if that happened to you, I'm so sorry. Um, know that you didn't deserve it, all right? People's actions have more to do with them than they have to do with you, all right? So forgive yourself, allow yourself to heal, release any guilt or shame 
or um, feelings of insecurity in regards to the situation because you haven't done anything wrong. It was just a part of your experience. It was meant to teach you a lesson, okay? Um, the second card that came out was the romance angels are helping you. So like I said, you could have a new energy, king of pentacles coming in, offering you something. Um, and also for some of you, the romance angels are helping you. They're helping this person to mature so that they can come back and give you something more stable. And for some of you, um, the romance angels are helping you to attract someone better than whoever is coming back from your past. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have a favorable outcome. I said favorable. <laughs> <laughs> favorable outcome okay so um keep your spirits up forgive yourself heal yourself release release this situation if you need to know that you're receiving divine help as needed and that you're going to once again um have the wheel turn upright for you okay so it may have been down in the past but things are things are looking up okay all right we got that and one more card this is like my favorite deck right now all right any last messages for aries august 2019 any last messages for aries <laughs> that's funny as fuck okay i keep one more card for aries for august um 2019. I'll tell you why I'm laughing in a minute. <laughs> okay, so two cards came out, right? At the same time. The Thinking of You card. Alright, so this Page of Swords energy, this Knight energy, this person from your past who fucked up, they are heavily, heavily, heavily thinking about you, okay? Or, and or, whoever has been on your mind lately, they're thinking about you too, okay? Because this is about a loving thought and serendipity, all right? So I feel like this came out because this person who has, like, been keeping an eye on you, who's trying to come back, they're thinking of you. I feel like this is their energy. But if it's not, then this just means that whoever's been heavily on your mind, you're also on theirs, all right? Serendipity, babe. And then the second card that came out was Ocean of Eternal Love. This is about healing, creativity, fertility. So this is definitely um, correlates to this Queen of Wands energy standing in your power, um, allowing yourself to heal and allowing yourself to create and manifest from a high vibration after you've healed from this situation, okay? And then we have the purification via water, emotional cleansing, and rejuvenation. So these all kind of tie in. It's all about healing and releasing and allowing yourself to ascend in your vibration, allowing yourself to ascend in your confidence and in your power after dealing with this, okay? At the bottom of the deck here, we have the attachment card. This is about letting go, restriction, and fear, all right? So once again, with that devil energy, it's something that you were attached to, all right? Most likely it was a negative attachment or a draining attachment, something that wasn't serving to you. And now you're releasing that, you're purifying yourself and you're healing and you're becoming more powerful, confident, and um, more high vibratory as a result of it, okay? So, yes, I hope this resonated with you, Aries. Um, I hope you enjoy your August 2019. Things really are looking up for you. It looks like the ball is in your court in regards to whatever the situation is. Um, it looks like you're the more mature one. You're the one who's done the growing and the developing and the releasing of attachments and all of the healing work that you need to do. So stand in that, all right? If someone's coming back from your past trying to offer you, you know, some kind of apology or a new start, um, and if you feel they have matured, go for it. If not, heal it and release it, okay? And it looks like things are telling you to release it, all right? So, thank you so much for watching if you watched this far. I really, truly appreciate it. I know my readings are long as fuck. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get them down to like 20 and 30 minutes consistently, but I like to be very thorough in my messages, so... Once again, if you've, you've, you've watched this far and if you're continuing to watch, I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. With love and until next time. Mwah.